Sasha, you took the cream? Oh, my dear French queen, I smeared him. I smeared his, his bald head. <laughs> I confess, I took the cream. We also, we also want to be free and fly. Oh my God, Margarita Nikolaevna! <laughs> he made me a marriage proposal. Well, say what you said. How did you call me? Who am I? Who? Goddess, I can't fly so fast. I can lose all my papers in this way! Natalia Prokofievna, I protest! <laughs> say what you said! You enticed me with promises! What you wanna say? I'm saying like? I demand the return of my human appearance! Margarita Nikolaevna! You must come down your housekeeper! Do you mind? I am a housekeeper now! <laughs> Hurry up! Let's fly away! I protest! What happened? I haven't seen you for ages. Oh my god, Kaladina! It's you, cheerful widow. You are here too. Get out of here, stupid. Stop saying nonsense. Be cautious how you say. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken, your highness Margot. <laughs> Brandy is to blame. I curse it. Put on your pants, drunkard. I welcome you, Your Highness Margot. Hello. Come along with me.
Drink. Drink, your highness. Devoted, devoted, devoted. How did you come to the river? Riding a broomstick. No, no, it's not comfortable. Right now, send me a car. Please. Please, your highness. <coughs> See you later. I agree to you, your highness. I agree to you, Azazella. Please. Thank you. This way, please. This way. Let me introduce myself. Korovyev. Follow me, lady. This way. Now about business. You, Margarita Nikolaevna, are quite clever woman, and it seems to me. You realize who is our boss. Well, Every year, the Messier hold one ball in different cities of the world. It's called the Full Moon Spring Ball, or the Ball of 100 Kings. But we need a queen. Let's talk about traditions. The queen of the ball must have name Margarita. This is first. Secondly, she must be a local native. 
We found 121 margarites in Moscow. Believe me, none of them suited us. Now, to cut it short, I mean the shortest. Won't you refuse to take this responsibility upon you? I agree. I thought so. This way. <gasps> oh, this. Don't be afraid. This is Bigemon's ball's tricks. Don't be afraid. It's gonna be a magnificent ball. I'm not gonna hide it from you. We will see faces, whose volume was once extremely large, but you also have royal blood. Why royal blood? Oh, my queen. Blood question. This is the most difficult question in the world. I will not sing if I mention offensive shuffling cards. My hint. One of the French queens. I think would have been really surprised if she had known that now I'm leading her grand-grand-grand-granddaughter to the ball in Moscow many years later. Here we have come. I greet you, Queen, and I am really sorry for my home outfit. The chess game is cancelled, our guest is here. In no case. In no case, Monsieur. I insist on you going on the chess game. I believe the chess magazines would pay a lot of money if they had an opportunity to publish it. Yes, Karovev is right saying about fancy shuffling cards. Blood. Okay, if you are so charmingly kind, frankly speaking, I didn't expect other things. Let's do without any ceremony. Oh dear, it's dark here. How long will this disgrace go on under the bed? Come out, cursed begemot. Where's my dumb tie? If you don't come out at once, we will count you have lost the game. Dumped deserter. Never, monsieur. Just look at him. Why the hell do you need this tie if you don't wear pants? I'm not supposed to wear pants, monsieur. Have you ever seen anybody without a tie at the ball? So, I recommend you, Donna. My retinue, the one who is fooling around, Bigemot Cat. With Azazella and Karoviev, you have become acquainted. My maid Gela, I recommend you. Quick, teachable, and there is no service that she couldn't do. So, perhaps that's all. The company, as you see, is not large. Mixed one. An unsophisticated. Gela, it's time. Wait for me. My leg is hurting me, but we have to hold the ball. Let me do it. My retinue says it is rheumatism. <gasps> but frankly speaking, I'm sure I got this knee pain as a memory from one charming witch with whom I had close relationship in 1561. Ah, nonsense. It will recover in around 300 years. By the way, say, maybe you have some mental problems. Maybe you have some kind of sadness or unbearable mental suffering. Huh? No, monsieur, none, none of this. But now, when I am with you, I have no problems at all. Blood. It's a great thing. 
The midnight is near, and Monsieur. Ah, well. Okay, it's time. Thank you in advance. Don't get lost, and don't be afraid of anything. Don't drink anything except water, otherwise you get drunk, and it would be hard for you to stand that. It's time. This way, your highness. Don't, don't, don't be afraid. There is no way out. Up. You are supposed. It is necessity. You should stand it. You should stand it, my crystal donna. They were made from an exact cast of a Chinese princess. Maybe you want to refuse? Never mind. I will stand it. Ball! <laughs> Doctor, Johannes Charles, and let them hand me in a rainforest on a vine. If someone else has ever had a band, like we have now, we have only world celebrities. I invited them, and you know, none of them got sick, and none of them refused. I agree to you, Boskin. It's time to meet the guests, my queen. Please. What's happened? No, nothing. Welcome. Where are the guests? The guests are sure to come. We will not have lack of guests. But I would prefer chopping wood. 
instead of receiving them on this platform. Forget about chopping wood. I would rather work as a conductor in a tram than this occupation. There is no worse thing in the world. <laughs> Let me give you, Queen, my last advice. We will have a lot of guests in the ball. But I am begging you, Queen Margot, don't pay your special attention to anyone. Whatever you want, Queen. But not your special attention. They are freaking out of that. That's right! Oh, Monsieur Jacques is the first, with his spouse. I recommend him to you, Queen. An interesting man. Staunch counterfeiter, political criminal, bastard. But a very good alchemist. He became famous for being able to poison the king's mistress. Not everyone can do that. My Queen? The Queen is delighted. I'm delighted. Here he is, Draft Robert. He is the same. Pay attention to him. Reverse case, my Queen. He was the Queen's lover and poisoned his wife. We are happy to see you. Oh, charming and respectable Madame Fatana. She was extremely popular among young Neapolitan women who were sick of their husbands. Does it take place when you are tired of your husband? We are delighted. Yes, I'm delighted. And you know, Madame Fatana entered the situation of these poor women and sold them some kind of water in vials. Each woman poured that water into her spouse's soup and the following morning, the young Neapolitan woman became free like spring wind. Can you see a Spanish boot on her foot? The jailer strangled Madame Tafana in prison. I'm so happy, kindest queen, that I have high honor to see you. Good to see you. We are happy. Oh, that is Frida. Boring woman. She keeps dreaming of complaining about her handkerchief. She has a chambermaid assigned to her, who for 30 years has been putting a handkerchief on her night table during the night. When she wakes up and the handkerchief is there, she tried burning it in the stove and drawing it in the river, but nothing helps. What handkerchief? Handkerchief? A blue bordered one. The point is that, when she worked in a cafe, the owner once invited her to the pantry, and nine months later, she gave birth to a boy, took him to the forest, stuffed the handkerchief into his mouth, and then buried the boy in the ground. At the trial, she said she had no way of feeding the child. We are delighted. But where is the owner of the cafe? May I ask, does the owner have to do with it? But he didn't smother the infant in the forest. If you next time busters interfere in other people's affairs... Oh, I said it legally, from a legal point of view. I, I just don't touch my ear. Frida, Frida, my name is Frida. Oh, Queen! Get the drunk today and don't think about anything. Frida, my name let's is Frida. Go, let's go. The Queen is delighted. My regards. We are delighted. I am delighted. We are delighted. The Queen is delighted. Just a second now. Pay your attention. The Emperor Rodolphe 
Sorcerer and Alchemist. Oh, Marquise. She poisoned her father, two brothers, and two sisters because of inheritance. We are delighted. Nice to see you. Mrs. Pinky, just look at her. Nice, huh? Why burn the maid's face with the curling irons? Of course, in this condition one gets stopped. The queen is delighted. Excuse me, don't you hurt? No, nothing. We are delighted. We are delighted. Here she is. If you could know how a good brothel she used to have in Strasbourg. I am delighted. This 20 years old guy had been fantasized since childhood. Dreamer and eccentric. One girl fell in love with him. But for some reason, he sold her to a brothel. I am so glad to see you. Oh, Moscow dressmaker. We all love her for inexhaustible ideas. She had a tailor's studio. She invented one funny thing. She drilled two holes in the wall. The ladies didn't know. All of them knew. We are delighted. Good evening. Well, Baron, I am waiting for you with the information. Guy Caesar Caligula and Miss Alina. Be patient, Queen. Be patient. The Queen is delighted. I'm delighted. My queen, you are standing the last minutes. Oh, a group of brokerage revelers. They always come last. Yes, here they are, two drunk vampires. That's all. No, 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 some more time you should stay in the hall, Queen Margot, we don't want the guests to feel been abandoned.
My name is Frida. Oh, Queen! Frida! My darling! My name is Frida! Later! Later! Queen! Frida! Frida! My name is Frida! Oh, Queen! Frida! Let me help you. Are not you tired? Oh no, never mind. <gasps> I... Be careful. The last coming queen, and we are free.
Mikhail Alexandrovich, everything came true, didn't it? The hat was cut off by a woman, the meeting didn't take place, and I'm living in your apartment. That is a fact. And fact is the most stubborn thing in the world. But we are now interested in that follows. You have always been an ardent preacher of the theory that on the cutting off of his head, life ceases in man, he turns to ashes and goes into non-being. I have the pleasure of informing you in the presence of my guests, though they serve as proof of rather a different theory, that your theory is both solid and clever. However, one theory is as good as another, there is also one says, that it will be given to each according to his faith. Let it come true. You are going into non-being. And from the cup into which you are to be transformed, I will joyfully drink to being. Where is the barn? Right this second, monsieur. He will appear before you, in this sepulchral silence. I can hear the creaking of his patent leather shoes. And the click of the goblet he has just set down on the table. Having drunk champagne for the last time of his life. Here he is. I am happy to introduce Baron Michael to you, my dear guests. He is an employee of the Spectacles Commission, in charge of equating foreigners with places of interest in the capital. Dear Baron was so charming that having learned of my arrival in Moscow, rang me up at once, offering his service along the line of his expertise, that is acquainting people with places of interest. It goes without saying that I was happy to invite him here. By the way, Baron, rumors have spread about your extreme curiosity. Moreover, wicked tongues have already dropped a word, a stool pigeon, and spy. And one more thing. It is hinted that it will bring you to a sorry end in no more than a month. And so, we have decided to come to your aid, taking advantage of the fact that you invited yourself here precisely, with the purpose of eavesdropping, and spying out whatever you can. <gasps> I am drinking your health, gentlemen. Don't be afraid, Queen. Don't be afraid. 
the blood went to the ground. And where it has been shed, grapes have been growing for a long time. Drink! 